Hello, good people. I'm back here with the 1985 Wahoo, and the great thing about an old boat is it is an endless source of fix-it projects and family fun, two of my favorite things. Unfortunately, last time I was out on the boat uh, with my daughter, the steering broke. So we actually had, I had to sit on the engine and steer it manually while my, while my daughter powered it into harbor. So what I'm gonna do now is try to fix it. I've never done this job before, so it's going to be a fun learning experience. So let's go ahead and check out what's going on with it. Alrighty, so I'm up here in the boat. I actually, when I was out and the steering broke, I had to disconnect it back at the engine. So we're, we're not going to be able to test that to show you how it's broken. But I think this movement right here should give you a good example of what we're dealing with. So, broken steering. So the first thing I'm going to do before we even get started is I'm going to take everything out of the boat and take the bimini off just so we can have a totally clean uninterrupted working space. Alrighty, so the boat's pretty cleaned out now. Uh, so let's just look at how this thing runs on the outside here. This cable runs all the way down here. And let's uh, go ahead and liberate it from its ties. Try not to snap any wires. Alright, that looks pretty good. Now, I did some preliminary research and I learned that the length of the cable is stamped actually on the uh, cable itself. And it's the, it's very hard to see on this one, but it's, it's the last digits, if you can make that out, right here on this number, and that's one zero, so that's 10, 10 feet. So this is a 10 foot steering cable. So I went ahead and just on blind faith ordered that kit online and I'll show you that kit a little bit later. But let's get a little bit more involved here and see how this comes apart. Alright so I'm making some assumptions about the tools I'm probably going to need. That's my general screwdrivers and adjustable wrenches and stuff in the bag. A set of wrenches. These are actually standard and the boat's probably metrics but um, uh, that's what I've got right now, and I've got this kind of steering wheel puller from having pulling, pulled the steering wheel on cars or other gear puller, and then I've got this kind of gear puller right here in case I need that to get the steering wheel off, and then I've got socket set. So hopefully that's all I'm going to need to get this job done. First thing I'm going to do here is figure out how this steering wheel comes off. So there is actually, I'll take this, I'll take this cap off, there's a little lock nut right here on the side. It's got a flat, needs a flathead screwdriver. I'm assuming that this allows this cap to come off. And yes it does. That came right off perfectly. Uh, inside there, not looking good. It looks pretty rusty. I don't know if you can see down in there, but it's pretty, pretty bad. I don't know if I'll be able to get a socket on that or not. Uh, we'll see. Alright, so here's a closer up shot of what's going on down in here. I hope you can see it. it looks pretty gunked up and rusty. Uh, I'm going to do this handheld. I apologize if it's too shaky, but I wanted to kind of see if I could get some of this schmuss off of here. Make sure I can uh, get a socket.
Alrighty, so this looks like about a three quarter, so I'm gonna put that on there, but. It's kind of gummed up. Alrighty, so that nut came off. I got that, surprisingly. And it looks like I'm going to be able to use just a standard gear puller to get this thing off. So first thing I'm going to do is punch the center here so that the guide on my gear puller will stay. So hang tight. I don't know if I can do this with the camera where it is, but we'll give it a shot. Alrighty, so let's uh, see if I can get this gear puller on there. There it goes. Ba boom. That's that. Nice. Steering wheel off. There's a little lock key. Okay. Sweet. Cool. Now I think these will come out of here. Right here. This one threads out. Okay. This one. Alright. This one doesn't have any bite to it, so let's see. Alright, well that one just pulls out. Okay, so there's an opportunity. And then this, well, this should pull off, but it looks like there's a key here. Normally these keys come off. Alrighty, so indeed that key does come out here. So I'm going to just work it a little bit and see what I can do. I think it was maybe the angle from below. I can probably pop it out. All right, well, that actually came out easier from below than I thought. So when you're doing this, pop this key out from below. This is the little locking key keeps the steering wheel from spinning. Don't lose that in case you need to recycle it, but I'm sure the new kit comes with one of those. But take this piece off. So now we see that we just have these three bolts to remove. This is a bracket actually. This is not the actual steering mechanism. And this is mounted to the dashboard here and it has nuts on the inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut away and show you, if I can, where those nuts are. These are half inch drive all the way around. All right, so you can see the bracket there and those are the, the two bottom ones and the top one up there. So. So I'm just realizing before I pull this last one out, these two are here. They broke. That one's probably, eh, may not broke because it's on break because it's on top. But I'm just realizing that these three right here are holding the steering mechanism to this bracket, which I think supports the entire thing. So if I take that out, it might be trickier to uh, get the rest of it out. So I'm going to try to unbolt those center ones there first.
All right, those three are out. So now I can push that down. I can see that moves. So then I'm going to take this last bolt out up top here and remove this bracket. Alrighty, so all three of these bolts holding this top bracket broke. So I guess they needed to be replaced. Alright, so there's the bracket. Single side up, two down. Alright, now the mechanism below is totally free. Alright, now I can see through there this thing. I'm gonna, because it's broken already, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I, what I can do that pull it out of here, but I see that I've got a bunch of uh, zip ties, uh, electrical tied to that, so I'm going to free that up before I get crazy on it, otherwise I'll have to rewire it. Okay, I've pulled this thing out now, and you can see it's still connected. This looks like it would probably thread off, and this right here, I believe, is the lock that, that you pull this. This is what keeps the cable from pulling out. So what we're going to want to do is probably pull that out. So I pulled this pin out here. All right. Take that pin. Pull that out. Undo this thing. This is the, probably the, the catch on it. So as the extra cable comes through, it goes into here. But this is pretty disintegrated. There we go. It, it broke. Okay, so there's that right there. Alright, so I was able to pull this out all the way and drop it down. Right? I pulled the pin out. Again, the pin was in here. And uh, I pulled that pin out. I'll put it in there and I'll pull it out again for you. And then what we're supposed to be able to do is just push this little button. I don't know if you can see it with the shadow. I'll try to, where's that sun coming from? Push it right in here in this hole and that should release the cable out of there. And it did. It released it right on. And this cable, what's up with this? Oh, and it's broken completely. There it is. Evidence of damage. So I guess, I guess the question now is, is this thing bad or is it just the cable? Because I have a feeling this, that the new kit is not going to have the same mounting pattern here that we have. And I'll have to drill more holes in my boat, which I would prefer not to do. So I think it's worth taking a look at this mechanism in this piece to see if it's in good shape or bad shape. So I'm just going to take this to the bench and take a look. So actually while I'm really curious about how, what that's like inside, I went ahead and grabbed the other bracket and as it turns out, these two brackets mounting through the dash have the same hole pattern. So I'm not going to have to reuse the old one after all. All right, so I'm back here um, at the boat and I'm going to go ahead and tie this rope. The boat, the, you know, it's not much of the boat that this has to go through, but it'll probably make it easier if I can pull a rope through so I can pull the new cable through without too much grief. This is a, the old cable, Dunzill. Let's get rid of that. It's the broken piece on the end. All right, and then I'm just going to pull this thing through. All right. Alrighty, I'm going to try to pull this old cable through now without damaging anything. Let's see if I can get the rope to come with it. Oh, the rip slipped off, but I see the rope. It's right there at the edge, so I can fish that out. That's not a problem. Okay, good deal. Success. And now I'm going to go back to the engine and disconnect it from the engine. Alright, 
Ich mal fließen. I'm wondering if I can go up out the other way, this way, yep, go off the back. So don't pull it up toward the steering wheel, pull it off toward the back. If you have a Wahoo, obviously everybody's boat's different, but if you happen to have a Wahoo, maybe a whaler, pull the cable out toward the stern versus toward the bow, all right? All right, here's my whole kit. And what I want to do before I pull it all to the boat is I kind of want to undo everything and make sure I see and understand how everything goes together. Four. All right, so now it's time to make sure that these cables are, in fact, the same length. So I've got them more or less side by side here, and they are the same length. So that shows that the labeling on the cable, the 10, the last two digits on the cable, are in fact the measurement of the cable, in this case 10 feet. So, Okay, so before I took this over to the boat, I wanted to make sure I understood how all the hardware worked. So there's that. This goes on here like this. These smaller ones, they mount to that to that. These bit larger, they go in these holes here to uh, mount it to the boat, obviously with the washers and the nuts. These, I only need one of these, and this is going to be used, The one of these is going to be used as a locking screw or the uh, locking bolt for the cable when it goes in. And that's going to either go in this hole here or the, this one here. I think it's this one actually uh, that it will go into. So I think we've got this all sorted out so that I know where everything goes and we are ready. And then this is the pen. Got the key goes right in this, into here. Right in there. So we're ready to set this thing up. All right, so we're about ready to install this first top piece. We're supposed to install the steering mechanism first and then feed the cable into it, according to the instructions, but we can't do that. we got to clean it up first, get some hole cleaner on it, Make put away all the tools we don't need, get all the screws. First thing I'm going to do is install this bracket right here. Um, before we get started there, it recommends that we use some marine grease and put it on all threads to help avoid corrosion and seizing. Thank <laughs> you. 
plate is now installed. Now it's time to install the actual mechanism. Gotta grease these screws up a little bit. These bolts. I keep saying screws. They're bolts. So, according to the uh, instructions, this guy goes in here to this with the uh, with these things facing that way. So the cable will come in on the top here and out here. So I have to put it in like this. Find the closest screw, which should be that right there. Oops. Installed. All right, so now I'm going to put the bezel on here, and uh, kind of like it doesn't come with the screws that hold it in because I think it has different instructions. So I'm just going to eyeball this, and I will have to drill a couple new holes because they don't line up with the old ones perfectly. So I'm just gonna that's enough to mark it, I think. Oh, it's very close, isn't it? To that old one. Let's do it again, make sure we're getting a good mark on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're just like right there. Doesn't look perfectly straight though. That looks straight right there. No? In. Okay, now it's time to add the key here to this. Put the key in here. Let's 
see if it goes in easily. Sort of like. Okay. Pretty good, right there. And then once that's on, we can put on Ready? Alrighty, there we have it. New steering wheel. Time to install the cable. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna feed this. Oh, looks like I got some clips on the end of it. Let's get that off. Pick up some uh, leaves and dirt. Then I'll go on to the other side and pull it through. Okay, so I was able to just reach back in there and grab this, and then I'm going to bring it right over to the top one here, feed it right in there, right? And then I think I should be able to just turn the steering wheel and it goes in. Seems to be grab there it comes out the other side, yes. And here comes the very end of it right here. And that should pull it right in. Ta-da! It's totally in there now. Very cool. Okay, so this is kind of a hard shot to get, but I've got this lined up. This is this the bolt I told you about earlier. It goes right through there and it locks this cable in. It come, I'm putting it in from the top and putting this washer, actually just the nut on the bottom, not a washer. Okay, so 7 sixteenths. I'm trying to film this. also comes with this piece right here which has another locking and this is to go on the end that's being pulled through so it doesn't um, hit any of your wires or jam into anything underneath so I'm gonna install that okay so you can see that coming out of there right there and then, so you want to pull this down and around and uh, try to Slip this, this thing on there and get that in there so that it's completely covered. So this will give you a better shot of how I install the locking mechanism in the other side. So that, oops, pulled the tube off. So that goes through there like that. And that goes like that. That's how the little side locked as well. Only it's a lot easier to see right now. This side. And I'm gonna just put this on here. Okay. The steering system is officially installed up here with this system. Now I just need to connect the engine and it's good to go. Alrighty, so I'm going to install this cable now. And the first thing I'm going to do is lube up these threads here. A little marine grease. Alright. 
then I'm also going to go ahead and lube this up. So let's uh, just take the opportunity to get this all as lubed as possible. There's lube in there, of course, but you know, it always gets jammed. This might be a trick to angle this because I think I mentioned before I better go on the outside to get this back out. So let's see if we can get it in. And I hope I don't have to loosen the engine to uh, get this back in. Hmm. Doesn't want to go. And there's a risk that I'm going to damage the boat right here. So, I may have to just actually loosen this because this angle here is just too tight. Even if I were to have the cable out again and it could be over here, it would be too tight and it would damage the boat as I'm trying to install it. So I'm actually going to have to back the engine out a little bit off the plate, um, then slide it in and tighten it back up. So I loosened it up a little bit, and there it goes. All right. So I just had to back it off like less than an eighth of an inch, just to give it a little bit of there. Now we'll slide the engine back up, and we'll be good to go. So the last piece, let's connect this arm right here. Turning the steering wheel now. We have steering again.
Alrighty, that's it. We've installed a mechanical steering on a 1985 Wahoo with a 90 horsepower two-stroke Yamaha on the back. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that video. I experimented a little bit with the editing to make it a little bit more interesting uh, and the cutaways, getting as many close-ups and detailed shots as I can. Uh, let me know what you think. I hope it was helpful. Um, let's go get on the water. Have a great day. Thanks.